What's up, guys? How you doing? My name is Nick Stoic. I'm the executive editor here at the New Hampshire. Who here is uh, this is your first time coming to TNH? Awesome. So I'll go through the whole spiel then. Uh, welcome. This is our newsroom. There's usually someone in here, so if you ever want to just stop by and say hi, you're more than welcome to. As TNH, we are the only place that you can get unbiased news all about the University of New Hampshire. TNH, like our duty is to serve the community, but it also serves the people who work here as well. So it's really a, it's a fantastic organization. So it's Saturday, March 7th, and then it would be due on Sunday the 8th, okay? Every paper is obviously made up of several stories and several ads, and, and, and each of those stories starts with one idea. On Monday night, the news editors the arts editor, sports, me and Nick, we all come in and we start looking at story pitches and what we want people to be writing for the next couple of weeks. And then at 7 we have the editorial meeting and then at 8 p.m. we have the contributors meeting which is open to anyone and everyone. All the editors come prepared with physical copies of like a pitch. People pick them up and then they write them down and then they go. All those pitches have the, uh, the deadline roughly how long it should be, guidance on who you should talk to, like, you know, just to kind of get them started. If you go out that side of the mub and you look up, there's like all of this snow hanging over the roof. Oh, okay. And every time I walk out, I'm like afraid it's gonna fall on my head. It's like a lot. So if you could get like a photo of that or something, I'm thinking in terms of that story I pitched. Okay. The meetings are where we can all come together, get organized so we can kind of coordinate who's doing what. And that's just, that's just in terms of our like print copy. I'm Kelsey Campbell and this is the New Hampshire's Weekly Report for the week of March 3rd. Cameron Johnson, who's our multimedia editor, he's in charge of all of that. That was his baby. So what he's been doing is doing these weekly reports. I was like, hey man, like, you know, let's do that this year. Let's, you know, let's do like a weekly broadcast. And fortunately, the first meeting of the year we had Kelsey and Fatima come into our contributors meeting saying, hey, we want to try broadcast. And it was perfect. Yeah, just like going over style, like making sure everything's, uh, yeah. According to our style guide and stuff like that, making sure all the names are spelt right and uh, all the facts are right. Production nights, especially the day of production, can be a little bit more stressful. We have production night the night before that the paper comes out. On Wednesdays it's a little bit harder because, um, you know, we all have class and so I come in here when I can, make, make the news pages. Um, so it's ready to go when the other people come in. The content and the news editor will be editing stories, the art section on Wednesday, and then the sports as well. They'll be making their pages, placing stories, placing photos, contacting writers if there's any confusion. And we're just working really the whole night. And it kind of ends around 3 a.m. when Nick and I leave. We all spend a lot of time together. <laughs> One more. We print 5,000 copies twice a week and they go to the surrounding areas. Distribution is done through student delivery drivers on campus and off campus. We all take the job seriously. We care a lot about how the paper looks and we care a lot about like having the trust of the community, you know, because we want people to read the paper. We want people to look to us for finding information. I think people don't realize, students, staff, everyone, how much it takes to put out the newspaper and how much the editors and the writers dedicate to it. It's a huge time commitment and, you know, we're not doing it as like a full-time job or anything. We're doing it on top of all of our classes and everything else that we're doing. It's really been a lot more than just working at a newspaper for me. I do not want to do anything else. I don't know anything outside of journalism. I love the newsroom. I love the whole TNH family. I couldn't imagine <laughs> life without them.